All right, so who has a question? Does anyone, anyone want to start off oh, oh, and have a question oh, oh, for me? Me, 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 me. Any me, of you? Me, me, me. Anyone? Anyone besides fucking Kenzie? Anyone? Me, me, me. Oh, please, 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 please. Me, 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 me. Oh, come on, come on. No one has their hands up. Please, me. Okay, all right, yes, Kenzie. Yes, I see you. I, put your hand down. Yes, Kenzie. Well, okay. What's your question, Kenzie? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> basically, <clears throat> basically, one thing you keep saying is that calories are the most important for fat loss. And I understand when you say calories are most important, but I guess what you're actually saying is it doesn't matter what the f you eat, and you could just eat pizza and candy and cake and lollipops and pop tarts and Pringles and gum and everything, and that it doesn't matter what you eat, and you can still lose fat and be healthy as long as you're in a calorie deficit, and you don't have to worry about the quality of your food. I just feel like it's not really fair of you to say. Oh, fuck me, god damn it. Okay, it sounds like you're asking Kenzie is, are calories all that matter? Are calories all that matter? All right, so I'm gonna speak directly with you before we get to the second question, which just so you know, it's gonna be Johnny asking that one. I wanna to talk to you about this. There are two major points to consider. Number one, health and fat loss are not the same. This is very important to remember. They're intertwined and they cross over in various topics. But when someone is saying they're chasing a goal of better health, it does not necessarily mean they're chasing the goal of fat loss. And just when someone says they're chasing goal of fat loss does not necessarily mean they're chasing better health. So we have to separate the two and discuss them individually. Also, when people have this sort, they create this false comparison. They'll say things, oh, well, so you said that calories are most important. So what you're actually saying is that you should just eat cheeseburgers and hot dogs and Pringles and cake and, and it doesn't matter and you can still lose fat. It's like, listen, first and foremost, yes, technically you can do that. But just because I'm saying you can do that does not mean I'm recommending you do that. I'm not saying that's smart. I'm not saying that's the most effective way. I'm not suggesting anybody do it. This whole idea I'm doing with the Big Mac Challenge on Instagram is specifically to show you that calories are the most important. But it's also why I'm repeatedly saying over and over again, do not do this. It's not the healthiest way to do it. It's not the easiest way to do it. It's not the most efficient way to do it. There's a very big difference between stating a fact and then stating what I think is most effective and beneficial and healthful down the road. Another thing that's really important to consider, oftentimes people who are eating very healthy, a lot of nutrient dense foods, a lot of protein, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, who are exercising, getting good sleep, trying to manage their stress, drinking a lot of water, they still struggle to lose fat. And that's oftentimes because they are not paying attention to how many calories they're eating. It is much easier than you might think to eat too many calories of healthy foods, which is why we need to understand what calories are, what foods have how many calories, and how much energy you're taking in on a daily basis, regardless of the quality, just so you can know how much energy you're putting in your body, especially if you're trying to lose fat. It's the same thing with your finances. You track how much you're spending, you track how much you're taking in. You do this, not necessarily to obsess over it, but to be aware of, are you saving enough for retirement? Are you saving enough for when you're getting older? Are you saving enough for your child's birthday party? Are you saving enough for your next vacation? You need to manage this, not necessarily obsess over it, but you have to be aware of it. Now, before we get to the second question, one last thing I wanna mention is this. I recently did a podcast with a young woman named Katie. She's amazing. The link to this podcast is in the description. She has Hashimoto's. She's had thyroid problems. She's had a gluten intolerance and for so many years she struggled to lose weight and she didn't think that she was ever going to be able to do it. She thought that she was just gonna be destined to not be able to lose weight, that physiologically it wasn't gonna happen. That I was already probably hypothyroid, eating diet pills like it was my job, really just put too much stress on my system, which that's when my Hashimoto's like kicked off was when I was 25, so I'm 33 now, so I've been dealing with it for eight years and I just got diagnosed a year ago. She started working with me, she joined the inner circle, and lo and behold, she's hit a lower weight than she's been at in years. She feels healthier and happier than she has in a very long time. And I want you to listen to what she said, because she joined me on a podcast, she told me all about her story, what changes she's made, and really what has helped her the most in regard to losing fat while working through Hashimoto's and having these thyroid issues and a gluten intolerance. So the link to that conversation is in the description. Let me know if you have any questions, but I really think this concept 
and listening to Katie is gonna help you a lot if you're struggling to lose fat.